Challenge this one is a level eight. We're doing it in JavaScript. It's called count of positives, sum of negatives. Uh, so as always, there's a link to the challenge in the show notes. Try it out. Uh, watch the video if you get stuck. That's a great way to learn JavaScript. The other great way to learn is to keep practicing. So subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified every time I post a new video. So with that, let's test this out. We got an array of integers. We're going to return an array where the first element is the count of positives. Um, so we'll do, uh, let's do a variable here, let count equal zero. So that'll be the number of positive numbers. Um, and then the second element is the sum of the negative numbers. So let's do uh, count of positives. And this will be sum of negatives. Okay. So let's, the input is going to be your array. Uh, and then we'll return. Once we do all our stuff, we're going to return the count of positives as the first item in the array and the sum of negatives as the second item. Okay. Uh, so we'll set both of these uh, initialized at zero. And let's go for const in of input. So we're looking at each number in the array. And we're going to say if um, in is less than zero, then we want to say sum of negatives. We're going to add this new negative number to that total sum. OK. Um, if, or so we'll do it else, or let's do a say less than or equal to, or we'll do another if here. So if n is greater than zero, uh, and then we'll say count of positives, because we're just counting them, we're going to only add one here. Okay, so we're keeping a running tally of those two. Zeros, I don't know uh, if zeros are going to come up, that would affect the count uh, if we're supposed to treat it like a positive number. So we'll see. Okay, so that's looking good. Ah, here we go. Let's see. Input is not iterable. What is input? Expected zero, zero to deeply equal an empty, uh, okay. Um, let's do this. Uh, so they're giving me a, an edge case here where I've got two, uh, an array of two zeros, okay? Um, so let's do this, uh, let's say Let's do a filter here. So we're going to do if input filter, uh, where we want each number that is not zero. Okay. So if that input, uh, if at the end of that, if the length is zero, then let's just return an empty array. Okay. So we're getting rid of the edge case at the top here. Uh, I think the initial test worked. Let's do an attempt here. Ah, still getting it. Okay, cannot read filter of null. Okay. Huh. Okay. So another edge case here. So if uh, input is null, we'll return an empty array. Let's test this out. Okay. So a couple of edge cases here. Uh, this ain't very pretty. Uh, but it's working, so we'll count it. Good job, y'all.